This is Red Man. I'm back with another video, another topic. Hit that like button. Hit that cash app, dollar sign, Rand 8239. Bring you good content, content to make you aware, content to make you think. And yes, this topic is going to be about men and women working together. Yes, that's right. Men and women working together. Now, when I'm saying this, I'm saying as far as the dating relationships. Now, men need to stop taking women out on dinner dates because you haven't vetted this woman out. You know what I'm saying? She not your official woman and she not your wife just yet. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I'm saying women and men need to come and work together, I mean in this, like, say for instance, like, okay, this man got a nine to five and this woman working a nine to five. Okay, this man can have like a business plan he want to put together or some type of business he's trying to do. And he could tell the woman he with, you know, about the business and seeing ways she can help him out in the business. And, you know, from there, if she really like you and she really believe in your vision, she will help you out. Yes, that's right. And then it goes like even if a woman, she got a nine to five. She think about a business plan she's trying to put together. You as a man, you can see about ways of how, you know, how to get it together. You know what I'm saying? You can work with her as far as like getting the set up or whatnot. Now, this is the thing. But women, y'all got to realize this. The man got to be the leader, though. That's the thing. <laughs> Even when y'all working together. Now, you understand the concept of him helping you out in some type of business. If you working and he sees ways that y'all can make the money together in that business, then boom, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would go as far as to say it's a lot of men and women already. Them people that's doing them skits, you know, the men and the women couples, they actually working together to make money. You know what I'm saying? They got no fake skits out. Um, all these different things go on because they know it got an opportunity to go viral. Because a lot of people look at those skits and be like, you know, they don't even think for themselves. Somebody could just be like, all right, this is a real skit in you know, well, they won't say a skit, but they'll say, you know, this really happened and all that type of shit when it's a skit. But yeah, men and women working together. Preferably, the man really need to have his thing set up. You know, just to understand this, like working on just a 95 nowadays, especially ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? To provide for all things like that. Either you got to work two jobs, sometimes even two jobs on top of that ain't going to be enough. You know what I'm saying? You got to have other things you're doing. Um, Like I say, this digital content market is very good market to get into. Like, can you all see how much money some of these uh, YouTubers make online? You know, just putting out content and, you know, if something go viral and stuff, how much money you can make off that content. And, you know, you know, depending on how many views you get and all that type of stuff, too. But, yes, it's plenty of things out there that can be worked on man and woman coming together. And another thing, too, even if a man and woman going to go out now, like I say, if. Man, if that's not your woman or your wife and ladies, if he haven't made the relationship official, you shouldn't be wanting him to pay for your dinner and stuff. If I'll go out to a restaurant, forget that. Pay for your own. Y'all can go meet up at whatever restaurant y'all want to. And, you know, you pay for your stuff and he pay for his stuff. That's fair and balanced. See, we living in a different time now. Well, women out there working jobs like men are working, too. So then you got some women working their business and some, you know, and making lots of money off that. Hey, that 
right there, if you find if you get with a man, even if he ain't got a business, he might be working nine to five, but you really, really like him, then it shouldn't be no um no thing where you require him to have as much as you. You know what I'm saying? This is foolish right here. When this keep going back and forth, because women are always looking for a man that makes more than her all the time. She'll say, ah, she can't get with this man if he's not making as much as her. Or, more, well, more than her, technically. Which is BS. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Those are some, lo some solutions right there. Y'all women working together with a man and y'all men working together with a woman you know what i'm saying this definitely can happen and this definitely have happened like i have seen like matter of fact do you ever know like those a lot of those youtubers that goes overseas you know what i'm saying technically like me when i go overseas you know what i'm saying content strategy you know what i'm saying you get a woman from another country you actually visiting or whatnot and explain to her how she can be beneficial in your country and stuff. Because that's the thing you got to realize, too. People like to see men and women working together. That balance of masculine and feminine. You see what I'm saying? Masculine and feminine. See? Like, they like to see content like that. So, with that being said, when you make a content like that, you could be interviewing the women, asking them different things on what they like or um, how they do in their culture or what type of man they like. You know, different things like that you can, you know, bring out to the people. You know, whatever the subject matter is, you can tell it to your audience and let whoever want to do the interview do it. You know, work together in a business like that. You know what I'm saying? I'd have had plenty of different ideas on uh, these different things, too. Now, also, you got to realize, too, if you don't actually, I mean, you could know this person, but this person have to agree on doing the content with you, too. You just like, I remember back, it been, I think back a couple of years ago, um, it was some content creators going down there. I remember this happened in Brazil, I think. And they were just interviewing just all types of, um, you know, well, especially like men, y'all interviewing all types of women without their consent. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to get their consent first before you start interviewing them, you know? So, yeah, those are the most important things. So, yeah. And then, like, you have this woman working in your business. The business start growing. She help, helping you out in it then you know she can work for you and you give her money like that in the business as well and y'all can keep growing it like that and add on you know what i'm saying and also too man like i say um y'all need to let women know y'all not monogamous like because this is the thing women are looking for y'all to be monogamous only with one woman but you got to explain to them let them know you not you know what i'm saying I remember uh, having to go uh, explain to a, a woman this. This was back in, um, yeah, in Ecuador. And, uh, you know, I had to explain to her, you know, us men, we're not monogamous. I know you ain't really heard this from no other men, but I'm telling you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Either you're going to rock with me or you're not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she still rock with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the thing y'all men got to realize, too. When you stand up and be firm, you know, explain to her, you know, why it's like that. Explain to her that other men will sit up there and lie to you and say that you're going to be the only one, which you not. You know what I'm saying? Not in a man's nature. It's not in a man's nature. So, yeah. But men and women working together to create something very great great generational income or create um passive income you know what i'm saying that's what it's about like working these nine to five you like working so hard and never 
like never growing the money up in the company. Then also to it take time from you from enjoying other things you like too. See, it's supposed to be a balance where just think about it. If nine to fives, more nine to fives, I just say more nine to fives out there because you do have some contract jobs. See, that's one thing I liked about the contract jobs. Like you have a certain amount of time, like you can work on different projects and then you can take a break. I mean, you won't get penalized for it. You know, you can stack that up, take your break, go take your vacation somewhere for however long you want. Then when you come back, you can, you know, sign back up with the, well, let them know you back and you ready to go in those contract jobs. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, it takes some work to get those contract jobs, too. The contract jobs, they ain't easy to get. You know, they can be strenuous to get. To, you know what I'm saying? You have to keep digging, digging, digging. But on top of that, it's good to have other things going on, too. Like, because digital content creating, it's a business, too. This is a business. Like, YouTube content creating, TikTok content creating content creating is a business facebook content creating is a business instagram content creating is a business uh twitch content creating is a business i know my cousin he was telling me about this twitch because he on that stuff uh yeah but yeah i gotta get on some more stuff too like i got it's been a while since i've been back on uh the instagram reels i gotta get back on that and uh what's the rumble thing too i gotta I put a couple of videos on Rumble, but I got to get back on that, too. Uh, let me see which one I'm getting the most support, the most following, all that type of stuff on and build up more from there. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's good to have these different outlets, too, these different outlets. But, yeah, men and women working together. Women, y'all got to humble yourselves. Y'all out there working like men work. So the requirement y'all if y'all go out of something like that it should be you spend your money on your stuff he spend his money on his stuff you know what i'm saying now later on okay if you doing the right thing by him and he's doing the right thing by you maybe later on he could be like you know hey i'm gonna i'm gonna surprise you because you you know you cool you've been very cooperative with, with, with me and stuff like that. And he might surprise you and do something for you, but he take care of everything. See, that's what y'all women don't get nowadays. A lot of y'all women don't get that nowadays because of lots of men start have seen what y'all always want to take, go out on a dinner date and you want him to take care of everything. You know what I'm saying? You just acting like you entitled to that. You know what I'm saying? You're not entitled to that. So, yeah, men and women working together. All right, this is Ram Man. Y'all like the content? Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the cash app, dollar sign, Ram 8239. Bring you good content. Bring you content to make you aware, content to make you think. All right, y'all have a good night. Peace out.